the semi main event of dangerous skate is for the open the twin gate championship it is a three-way championship match this came out of last weekend's shows where m3k decided that they really wanted to have a three-way and they were going to ruin a number one contendership match and nag and nagoya it is the sumo mochizuki azushi kanda the team you should be considering when we talk about tag team of the year defending their twin gate belts against jason lee and jackie funky kame of natural vibes as well as z Bretts, kai and hio we're finally getting a three-way uh team match on a pay-per-view this year guess so let's talk about what you just mentioned there the the idea of tag team of the year because i i asked around earlier today about who people's front runners for tag teams of the year are in, in case i was missing anything obvious but you know, for the first time in a very long time, just because of injuries, it doesn't seem like the Bucks are going to be eligible for this award. This is a year where the Lucha Brothers aren't in consideration. Uh, there's no, you know, Kyle O'Reilly and Bobby Fish tag team. There, there's, there's so much great wrestling in Mexico right now, but I don't think any, like, standout tag team that's in Mexico. So I asked around, and I, you know, I Aussie Open and Goto and Yoshihashi and FTR, and th- those seem to be the front runners. If this is a high-end match, I mean, if this is a a four-and-a-half-star match, which it very easily could be because you have Susumu and you have Kai and you have Kamei in this, we really have to treat Susumu and Kanda as frontline tag team of the year contenders, which is a bizarre position to be in. Join me. Join me. I've been saying this for months. And, and, you know, quite frankly, if they want to... If they want to fire back up the Mochizuki square tag team, you know, father and son, I, I still, they're kind of waiting in the wings. It's just a matter of opportunity at this point. But case, I'm, you know what? Yes. That's a great way to promote Misaki Mochibu, Mochizuki's impending autobiography. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I agree. In fact, he should just wrestle everywhere. That would be the best way to promote his autobiography. Is there we more go. Of there him. we go. <laughs> but, you know, I'm so surprised when people talk about FTR as this runaway tag team of the year, because I really struggle to think outside of the, the bullet club matches, which were great. I, I really enjoyed them. I don't know what they've done this year. Like I didn't have a single notebook FTR match prior to the month of June this year. And you look at Aussie open and I think they've been very good. Uh, you know, they miss a little bit of time due to injury. I think they've been very good. I enjoy the act. I've always enjoyed the act. I'm glad they're having the success they're having. You know, I would personally, and this is no shot at them, because again, I think they've been good this year, but I think I think there's a handful of Dragon Gate tag teams, whether it's been Yoshioka and Kakuta, the Mochizuki, Susumu and Kanda, that are better than Goto versus Yoshihashi. I mean, to me, uh, listing them in your top three says you're not watching enough wrestling and you're not specifically not watching enough Dragon Gate. But if Susumu and Kanda deliver in this match, we're now talking about three, not only high-end tag team matches, we're talking about three possible match of the year contenders with the Kano and Kondo match, which I, you know, I, I can't get over how good that was. And then the, the Kakuta and Yoshioka match, which you liked more than I did. You know, that is what your, your top three Dragon Gate match for you this year. Oh no, that is my Dragon Gate match of the year. Yeah. Still. Yeah. 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 So it, uh, on top of a few auxiliary defenses that haven't hit the notebook, but have still been very good. I mean, if this delivers the way that it should, again, you know, this is a very good lineup for just to have this style of match. We have to have a really serious conversation that they might not only be in the conversation, they might be the best tag team this year. Yeah. And it's something where I think if you take the breadth of the work as a tag team, it is a scenario where, we're talking really about two matches for FTR this year. Let's be honest. Let's just, be honest. And if I'm if I'm missing an FTR match, let me know. But I I, I look through I, my I, notes. I look through cage match. I I don't know. Again, other than the Bullet Club match, I don't know what I'm missing. You know I, that that's been where they've been great this year. But I I I'm not right. seeing in my notes anywhere. And this is an AEW problem. That they've just completely abandoned the work rate tag team division. But I, what what am I missing here? No, no, that's exactly my point, because after that, you're looking at the gun club, and I love the gun club. I think that they are probably one of the best heel acts in wrestling over the last year and a half, but I'm not putting that match up there with even like the, uh, n- n- not the uh, Bray de Prejas match, not the Twin Gate match. 
I wouldn't put him up there with that. I wouldn't put it up there with like the second tier stuff that Susumu and Kanda have done this year, frankly. And no, the it, the the Susumu Kanda uh, Buyuden defense right. was excellent. That was a great match. Yeah, that was another notebook match. So yeah, that was that was a uh, Masato Tanaka and Takuya Takuya Sugawara, which I went three and three quarters on, and you I think went four. And I went that's, four you know, and a quarter. Yeah, yeah, that's right, that's right. It's just you know uh, again, you know, Aussie Opens had a very good year, I, but. At it's this not point, a complete year. No, I and, and look, that's, no, that's and I want to be clear. That's no disrespect to them. I think they're great. I just as this match delivers, I just think Susumu and Kana have had a better year. And the FTR thing again is just really puzzling to me. I, I they've wrestled twelve matches this year, and two yeah. of them have been really good. Like I just I you know if you want to factor it, especially if you want to get you know into the nitty gritty here and talk about the trios matches that Kana and Susumu have had as a part of M3K, well, then it's not even close. And and that's up to you as to whether or not you want to count those as a tag team argument or not, because you could throw in the FTR multi-mans, but I think what M3K has done has smoked the uh, CMFTR branding, which that I that annoys the shit out of me, that they just landed on that like it means something. 